I strongly believe that today we are going to take a look at one of, if not the most interesting screens on any laptop. And since I've had the opportunity to play with the X1 Fold from Lenovo, I've determined that it doesn't count, because it's not a real laptop. It's very much an experimental device and it does not have any real power to like, like suit normal use. So, in my opinion, this is it. Alright, let me give a warm welcome to everyone who stumbled upon my channel. In today's video we are going to take a look at the Concept D3 Azel from Acer. It's a, it's a normal Concept D device with a twist, literally. Today we are focusing on the screen first and the laptop second, and for good reason. The Azel name basically means that the laptop has two hinges. The first one is on the bottom of the screen, so you can open it up like any normal laptop. Actually, you can open it further, all the way up to 180 degrees. So yeah, that's, that's a Concept D speciality. And the second hinge is right here at the middle of the back of the screen, so it can swivel itself around. With the use of these hinges, you can choose one of these use cases. Laptop. Laptop with a floating keyboard, also known as Apple Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro. Laptop with a trackpad only. Alright, I'm typing, you can tell me when to stop. Even God can see what I'm doing and I think he approves. And of course, the tablet mode. Since it has a touch screen, the coating on it is matte, so you don't get too much fingerprints on it, and that was a great idea in my opinion. And I think the bezels are just about the right size to be held in tablet mode. One great thing, when you hold it in tablet mode, unlike any other 2-in-1 devices, you don't feel the keyboard on the back, and I think that's pretty great. But then again, one bad thing, you just can't hold this as a tablet. I mean, longer than two minutes, because the corners are so sharp that they dig into your palms. That's just... That's just bad engineering. But you know what's really cool? A built-in, pressure-sensitive pen. It works really well, and it started working right away in Photoshop. I didn't have to download any other programs or just tinker with the settings in Windows. It works right away. And it makes my life a little bit easier. I like that. What I don't like is the shape and the feel of the pen. It's it's like one of those Samsung pens from the Note series, but even more janky. And holding it is not comfortable at all. So I, I didn't like it. I gave it to my uh, younger sister to draw me something. Uh, she drew a cup of coffee, then gave it back to me and said she hated it. So yeah. The screen itself is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 14 inch IPS panel with a full HD resolution and a factory calibrated 100% coverage of Adobe RGB. So it's really great for making stuff. It's like it was made to make stuff. Other than what I've just told you, from the neck down it is a normal Concept D device. In my case it's a Concept D3. And I've already made a video about the Concept D3 on my other channel. So if you're interested in me talking about the laptop in Hungarian, you can watch that up there. But if you don't want to watch that, let me give you a short summary. The keyboard is nice and has an orange backlight. The trackpad is surprisingly large and feels great. The white finish looks modern and elegant at the same time. The ports on the right are two USB 3.1, a full-size SD card reader, a combo jack, and on the left we've got a charger port, an HDMI, a Thunderbolt 3 equipped USB-C and a mini display port, along with a power button with a built-in fingerprint reader. Fun fact, this power button is one of two on this laptop. The performance is brought to you by Intel, with an i7-10750H and also 16 gigs of RAM, and also a GTX 1650Ti and also a terabyte of SSD. In case of possible use cases, if you didn't plan on 3D rendering all the time, this should suit basically everyone, except gamers, but it's not a gamer laptop, so it don't have to. It had no problem while editing videos or photos, so it can generally do that, and to be honest, it can run some games. Like, no crazy new AAA games, but you can get along with it. Well, you know what's great? The cooling on this one. It sucks air in on the top and bottom vents and then blows it out on the back and on the sides, so it's a nice flow to it and the temperatures are speaking for themselves. Here you go. In terms of sound, the cooling was pretty quiet, at least for a 13-inch laptop, and the speakers suck. They do. 
Oh, and in terms of battery life, it lasted for five and a half or around six hours for me. I don't know where they get the 18 hours that they like advertise on the website. Six hours is what I've got. Maybe they've used three laptops. I don't know. So, long story short, I have loved the Concept D3, so I love this one as well, because it's the same laptop, just plus one cool party trick. And in terms of value, if you actually can get a normal pencil for this one, uh, you can use this PC as a drawing tablet and a laptop at the same time and without any of those like compromises that comes with the tablet PC, like a Surface. And then it's a great product. Like this with the built-in pen, it's, it's, it's a no-go for me. And I think it should be for you too. In terms of pricing, you can get this exact model for 1800 US dollars. Uh, here where I live, it is around 2700 US dollars. So yeah, it, it's, it's a bit higher. Actually, I can't even get a normal, just regular Concept D for the price of the ASIN in the US. Huh, how funny. How oh, funny. At the end, this whole Acer thing is just a pretty crazy markup in price and for those selected individuals, it can be a nice buy. But for most of us, it's just a showpiece. We saw it and we just give it back and say, thank you, I'm gonna come back and uh, look around next time. That's what I'm gonna do! I'm gonna come back next time. Until then, thank you so much for watching and thank you Acer for providing me this laptop. It was great. Great to use, great to play on. But yeah, if you had liked this video, just give it a like. And if you like what I'm doing here, just please subscribe. Please. I'm trying to speak English, but I can't. Sorry, guys. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope we can see each other in the next time. Until then, have a nice day. See ya, stock.